Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the digital smart multimeter from Tesman. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right, when you open the box, it looks like you get a bag and a very thick user's manual, which is in uh, a whole bunch of different languages. All right, in the bag, we have, oh, comes with batteries, the multimeter, and the measurement probes. All right, and to get the batteries in, it looks like you have to take this green rubber cover off. All right, and it looks like it's on. To turn it off, you probably just hold the power button. To turn it on, you just hold the power button again. And it's on auto, so it kind of auto senses what you're wanting to measure. There is a light on the other side. This is the hold button, and then there's the function button, where you can select manually what you're wanting to measure. It also comes with your probes. And now your probes are ready to go. And also these probes are nice because they come with these pop-offs. So you can have a lot more probe area. So let's go ahead and start it off with uh, just some AC, AC outlets. All right, and all I did was just plug it in. It was on auto and it auto sensed that I was doing AC and it's 121.9 volts. Right now I am charging up this 12 volt battery with my bench top charger and it is charging and it currently has 13.13 volts. So let's go ahead and compare it to the Tesman multimeter. And the Tesman reads 13.15, so that's really close. That's only two one hundredths of a volt off. This Tesman can also measure the hertz of an AC outlet, which is nice. Right now it's at 60.4. This Tesman also has uh, no contact voltage, so you can just put it right up to something to test it for voltage, and it starts freaking out as soon as you put it near. Besides the basic features that I just showed you, this uh, tester has many more. Let's just start from the beginning. The first one is, uh, that's DC voltage. The second one is AC voltage for testing AC voltage. This next one right here is resistance. It will show you the resistance. This next one is to measure continuity. That one is for testing the hertz of your AC line. This one is for measuring capacitance. This one right here is for a diode test. This one is the non-contact voltage detector. And this one right here is for testing if a line is live or not. And when testing it with, uh, against this other clamp meter right here, you know, first I have to turn the display on like it's not very bright. This one is always nice and colorful, which is very nice. And it's only, uh, it's only four one hundredths of a volt difference between these two and then comparing it to my ideal which cost me you know almost a hundred dollars you can see that the ideal it's only five one hundredths of a volt of difference so getting something like this for like the fifth of the price of this is quite the deal even though it doesn't have a clamp meter all right so i would say that tesman did a pretty good job with this uh, multimeter right here it has a lot of functions it's fairly accurate compared to the other multimeters that I have. I mean, five one hundredths of a volt, no big deal. The display is nice and colorful and it's easy to read really in any light. And I like the fact that it auto senses. So I could just turn it on and put my probes on whatever I'm measuring and it will just know what to do. And the best part is that this thing is not very expensive. So if you have any questions about the Tesman multimeter, please leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this multimeter in my description just in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye bye.